Uh, well, no, but I feel like lately, the last year has been really like all work, crazy, like not taking mm-hmm. a break, not whatever. Yeah. You know, and that's been kind of hard. Yeah, it's been a learning curve. I mean, just learning how to like work and maintain everything, especially with you, because you're like, so in it. Over on Ryland's channel, Shane and Rylan just opened up about their relationship. And now that all of the Jake Paul series is over, they opened up about how Shane might be a little bit of a workaholic and how they're trying to maintain their relationship. But this is an excellent, excellent mental health topic for all of us. up everybody this is chris from the rewired soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution and if you're new to my channel my channel is all about trying to help you with your mental health so what i try to do is pull different topics from the youtube community or pop culture to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being so if you're into that kind of stuff make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so yeah i don't even think i'm subscribed to rylan but based on the videos I've done and when I look and research on YouTube, YouTube was like, yo, boom, check out Ryland's new video that he just posted with Shane. It was like, life update. I'm like, all right, I'm eating lunch. They're about to do a little mukbang action. Let's do this thing together. You're that comfortable eating it in front of me, Cheeto? Are you kidding me? So I sat down and watched it and they brought up a, a very good point like um, that I think we should talk about. And it's something I've wanted to talk about for a very long time because I am a workaholic and maybe that's why I like Shane's hustle so much and you know his passion and his dedication and all that because I can definitely relate. But this can definitely be something that is challenging for our relationships. So anyways, here's the clip where they kind of talk about the rough patch they hit while Shane's been working really, really hard on his whole series. Well, no, but I feel like lately, the last year has been really like all work crazy like not taking a break not whatever yeah you know and that's been kind of hard yeah it's been a learning curve i mean just learning how to like work and maintain everything especially with you because you're like so in it which is great i mean it really is because it's changed everything and you love what you're making which is everything that anybody could ever want yeah you know what's interesting we never really talked about our issues, which is good, but like in on YouTube, because I feel like- I thought you meant like in real life. I was like, I would hope so. We're like starting to like quite the long haul with each other to not talk about any issue. <laughs> I have a few more. Um, no, we don't really do that, but I guess that's a good thing. So I guess people don't know, because it has been a rough like six months because I've been working a lot and then I haven't like been showering and I've been like staying up all night. Wearing the same shirt for the entire month <laughs> that you wore. I mean, it's yeah. it, because you, and it, our schedules are 100% off because you'll start editing at 2 p.m. and then you're so deep in it that you don't go to bed until 7 a.m. And then it's it's been like a patch of like learning how to work and navigate a relationship. But luckily I think we love each other enough to want to fight that fight, you know? Yeah, I mean, I think I feel like we're gonna have a really good life. <laughs> I'm excited. Well, I would hope so. One thing I will say is that it, it is kind of interesting. Like, I remember throughout watching the, the Jake Paul series, like, Ryland wasn't in it that much. A lot of it was Shane and Andrew, but Ryland wasn't in it that much. It was a few times when they, you know, filmed some parts at the house and Ryland was there and Morgan was there. And, you know, a lot of us, you know, we thought about, you know, like Shane, how's his mental health? And he's going through a lot. But on the other hand, like what's Ryland been going through, right? So I think, I think what they said and how they kind of ended that part was like, yes, like absolutely. Like Ryland is in it for the long haul and he knows, like he knows that Shane's gotta work and like Shane is now taking this time off, which was, you know, kind of a mental health break for him, but he also gets to spend more time with Ryland, which is awesome. But Ryland can kind of see that. And one thing that makes relationships difficult is when one person is that kind of workaholic and the other person is trying to pull them away from it. And it can get really difficult. Like, I don't know if you've ever been in a relationship where you're working and like the other person wants you to make money and have a nice house and a car. And like, I know I've been in relationships like that. They wanted all the things that take a lot of work, but they didn't want 
me to work. And it was really, I'm like, what do you want me to do, right? So it's nice to see how their relationship is where Rylan kind of sees that Shane is doing this thing and it's something that he loves. And then Shane is taking some time to spend with Rylan before Shane jumps into his next venture. So yeah, what I'm always trying to do with my channel is take things that you're already watching and say like, hey, how can we learn from this? What, what's happening in our lives? Like, can we relate to this? What can we work on? So I am a workaholic and I also have a beautiful girlfriend named Tristan. I have my son, Dylan, as well as everything else. And you know, I have a lot of people ask me about work-life balance. How do you do this? So I, I have a brain that just goes, 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 right? When I'm not doing something, like, my brain tells me that I'm being useless. Um, that's when I can slip into depression. Um, sometimes I get anxious, like I have to be doing something. And this can be an issue. This can be a very big issue when I'm trying to find work-life balance because even when I'm spending time with like Tristan or my son or friends, like my brain is like, no Chris, you should be being productive right now. So if you can relate to that, like I'm gonna try to tell you like how I kind of cope with that, how I find balance and all that good stuff. So I wanna break this into a few different categories, all right? There's work, there's my son, there's Tristan, and then there's me, all right? So yeah, work is something like when I, I, I'm, I'm competitive, I'm always trying to be the best and I just work a ton, right? I'm always trying to reach the next level. It doesn't matter if it's with YouTube or with uh, the company I'm working for, whatever it is, I work, work, work. And I take work home with me, I do stuff on the weekends. Um, the new treatment center that I'm actually working for, by the way, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm gonna link it down in the description. But anyways, even the new place I'm working for, like I did some work, not last Saturday, but the Saturday before. I brought Tristan and my son down there on a Saturday to do do some work, right? And uh, the therapist I'm working with, she's like, yo, Chris, take some time off. And it's just, it's just for me, that's difficult. Like for me, it is like, every day for me is just a day. Like I'm not one of those people who wakes up on Monday and I can't wait till Friday or whatever. Like every day is an awesome day, right? Some days are, you know, difficult, but every day is awesome. And like, I just don't, I'm not in that place. Like I talked about it in my Brandon uh, uh, video with that he did with Elle, like, I'm somebody who just loves what I do. So I'm not sitting around all week like, oh man, I can't wait for the weekend. So I definitely have to dial it back. Like, cause I work, 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 work. Like, and you know, a lot of it, if I had to just kind of evaluate myself, you know, a lot of it might be because, you know, I grew up, didn't have that much money. I never had that many things or anything like that. And one of my biggest fears is not having money. One of my biggest fears is being broke. So like, that's one of the reasons I work so hard is so I have a cushion. Um, Tristan and I talk about it, like she gets anxious about money too, and it helps me learn how to save money. But anyways, that's one of the reasons why I work so much. And it's important too, like I have goals and dreams and stuff, and I know I talk to you guys about how happiness doesn't equal things. Like me, I don't want a big mansion, I don't want a fancy car or anything like that. I just like knowing that if crap hits the fan, like I have a cushion, you know what I mean? But then I have my son, okay? I have my son and you know, man, what he's such, he's such an awesome kid, but he understands my work ethic and my hustle, but my, my dad used to work a ton and he didn't spend that much time with me. So my mom was an alcoholic, my dad raised me. And like, I know that it affected me. So I try to be very mindful with my son about how much I work. Um, because I'll be honest with you, there's some weekends where I'm just like, Dylan, I gotta do a bunch of work, just hang out, play some video games for a while, I gotta do this, right? And it's tricky for me. So for me, those of you who don't know me, I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic and I've been clean for about six years. Well, my son was three years old when I got sober and there's there's still guilt that lingers around from that even though I've been sober longer than I was addicted in my son's life and my son doesn't even remember that but there's this guilt that kind of lingers around. And something I try to teach people is like, just know that feelings of guilt are a call to action, okay? So if I ever feel that guilt, I, I, I try to do something about it. And what I mean by that is I go spend time with my son. Like, I'll go hang out with him. Like this morning before um, I took him to school, I just sat in the living room and watched him play Fortnite and I was like cheering him on and we were just laughing and having a good time. Like, I just wanted to take some time and do that. Like, the way I manage this kind of work-life balance is that I have to just create time slots. Like I am an organized mess of a thinker and I just have to say, okay, here's some time, here's some time, here's some time, all right? So then, then you got Tristan. Tristan, the love of my life, the most beautiful, amazing girlfriend on earth. And it's crazy because she is just so, 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 so supportive. Just so supportive, but at the same time, like, 
I can't take advantage of that. I need to find balance with her. Like, she deserves time with me. She deserves time where it has nothing to do with YouTube or it has nothing to do with work or whatever it is. She's even called me out sometimes. Like, Chris, you're talking too much about this. And I'm like, yes, I get it. Like, I have to dial it back. Like, she deserves time with me. And, you know, be, because of how supportive she is, like, I owe that to her. I owe that to her. So, you know, um, recently, um, just like the last week or two, like our, our schedules have been screwed up just because I was out of town and then uh, uh, she had to stay home for the weekend and all of that. But like, I try to designate time for her. So like, um, we see each other on the weekends. So me and her will just like binge watch Netflix and we'll just hang out or we'll watch YouTube videos or whatever. But like, I try to spend dedicated time with her but she knows how my brain works because sometimes we'll just be like, hey, let's watch some YouTube. And then something just ignites that fire in me. I'm like, baby girl, I love you, but give me like 10 minutes. I gotta go record a video, right? And she's like, cool with it. And then I go and then like, well, while I'm editing videos or hanging out or whatever, I try to, you know, stay active with her and keep conversations or get her involved with my editing process. And that's something I do with my son too. Like my son, he hasn't been as active on his YouTube channel, but, like, one thing I try to do is, like, turn my, my work and what I'm doing and getting the people involved in it. So, it's kind of like two birds, one stone, right? But then, then, see, this is why this is such a great anxiety topic. Because now you're starting to see all the balls I'm juggling, right? I got work, right? I got that ball. Then I got my son. And then I got Tristan, right? And on the weekends, I have my son. On the weekends, I'm with Tristan. And there's literally days, like, on Saturdays and Sunday where it's, like, me and Tristan will watch like two or three episodes of something on Netflix, and then like I'm like, hey, I'm gonna play video games with Dylan for a couple hours, right? Like I segment the time. I'm like, are you cool with that? Are you okay? Like, okay, cool, cool. And I'll make sure Dylan's okay, I'll make sure she's okay. And I don't know, I'm very fortunate that both Dylan and Tristan have found that kind of balance with me, and they know how I am, what I do, and all of that, but we also try to go out and do stuff. For example, um, this Saturday, we're going to this thing called Vegan Village, where all three of us are gonna go there. I'm not bringing a camera, I'm not gonna vlog it, or, you know, take pictures. Well, I might take pictures. But anyways, like, that's just the three of us time, and we get to talk in the car, and hang out, and all of that, and go try some awesome food at this Vegan Village thing here in Las Vegas. So, I'm constantly doing this juggling act, and, like, I, I hope, at this point in the video, like I hope if you're someone who gets overwhelmed easily and you feel like you're you're too busy and all of that, like, you know, look at what Shane's doing. Like Shane has the luxury of taking time off. Like he just did this gigantic series, like mo the most successful, you know, YouTube series in history that wasn't on YouTube Red, right? And he's taking time off to spend with Ryland. And like, you know, one thing about Tristan too is she knows my vision. Right? She knows where I wanna be, she knows where I wanna go, she knows like what I wanna accomplish, and she has my back 1000%. So like, you know, when I am in that workaholic mode, like Shane gets where he's editing all night or doing whatever, like, Tristan always remembers that big picture. You know what I mean? And like, I, I love her for that. And you know, we're doing this together, like we're a team. And like, I'm so grateful that she supports me in it. But the last thing I wanna talk about, the last part of this whole work-life balance is me. What about me time, right? Like I can't just always be working. I can't just always be spending time with my son. I can't just always be spending time with Tristan. I also have to set aside time for me time and that's a huge part of mental health. And like, this is something, man, it just popped into my head. Like when we're talking about YouTuber burnout, this is the kind of stuff that's why, right? This is all I ever wanted. And why the f am I so f about that? Because like, this is literally my f dream. And I'm And that's why my mental health is so important and why I do these things and why I talk to all of you and more YouTubers are watching my videos. And I hope if you're a YouTuber watching this video, you're learning something from it because I also need me time. I need time away from work. I need time from my, away from my son. I, I need time away from Tristan, all right? And what I do is I read, I play video games with my friends. You know, right now I'm living by myself so I have Tristan and Dylan on the weekend. So I do get a lot of me time, right? So I, I like the freedom of doing whatever I want, but I will be making videos soon because in about two weeks, yes, two weeks, Tristan and I are moving in together and I have concerns, I have worries. Like Shane in this video talked about them moving, but they've already lived together, they're just moving to a new house. 
but this is gonna be the first time Tristan and I have lived together. We've been together for about two years almost, and there's things that I worry about, right? Because, for example, when I'm trying to have me time when Tristan is over, I feel guilt. And a lot of that, and this is something where we have to be very self-aware, it's not Tristan. It is not Tristan, it is me. It's me. Like, for example, when I play video games with my son, I'm like, oh my God, like I'm thinking the whole time, oh my God, Tristan is so bored on the bed, I wonder if she's mad, is she angry? Like, that's what my crazy brain does. But I have to remember, that's not Tristan, that is my brain, right? So one of the concerns is when we move in together, finding my me time. Like, is she gonna have her time? Am I gonna have my time and all of that? And this is important when it comes to our mental health. I have to recognize what places my brain goes to. Not recognize, I have to be mindful of it. Because in the reality, Tristan likes her, her time too. Tristan, you know, has school. She's going back to, she went back to school for social work. She likes to draw. She likes to watch, you know, her own shows and YouTubers. She loves to just sit and lay with her cat. You know what I mean? Like, one of the reasons that Tristan and I work out is she is not super needy. So she needs her time as much as I need my time. So if these are things that you struggle with, I hope you can start acknowledging where your brain goes. But anyways, like I'm really glad that Shane Dawson and Ryland Adams gave me an opportunity to discuss this work-life balance because I know it's, it's really important for anybody, anybody watching this. Like I want to be an example of somebody who works their butt off but also has a good work-life balance. And I wanna kinda of walk you guys through how I accomplish that, all right? So let's do this. Down in the comments below, let me know if you struggle with work-life balance. Do you struggle with being overwhelmed? Do you struggle with feeling guilty for how much you work or anything like that? Like, let's have a conversation down below and see if we can help each other learn to find that balance. Speaking of helping each other, if you are not in the Facebook mental health support group, you need to join it. It's linked down in the description below, all right? Anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to all of these beautiful people supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And speaking of my amazingly beautiful and talented girlfriend, if you would like to get some Rewired Soul merch that she designed, you can click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.